there folks, hi, this is ESL with Mo the Americanoid and Jesus, where we study English and the Bible, information and transformation. This is lesson 3 of unit 2. So it's lesson 3, unit 2. Last time we were together, we were talking about Jesus and his disciples and verbs, walk say, see, walked, said, saw, and other verbs. Today we are going to learn about the days of the week. But before that, let us review a little bit about some sentences. You help me out, okay? I will say a sentence and say gap. When I say gap, it means you have to put a word there. For example, I say James and John talked, gap, Simon. James and John talked, gap, Simon. James and John talked to Simon. James and John talked to Simon. Got it? So let us try to fill in the gap with a word that you think is missing. There is more than one possibility. There is more than one answer. But I will give you my uh, answer afterwards, okay? So let us see. Number two. He caught a fish. He caught fish gap a net. He caught fish gap a net. Very good. He caught fish in a net. Excellent. Jesus walked and excellent. Jesus walked and talked. Let us do the other way around. Jesus and talked. Jesus gap. Jesus walked and talked. Excellent. Zebedee does gap with Jesus. Zebedee, the father of John, does gap with Jesus. John goes with Jesus, but Zebedee, his father, does go with Jesus. Does not. Very good. Zebedee does not go with Jesus. John went with Jesus. Very good. Peter walked walked gap the lake. Peter walked the lake. Well, later we're gonna see that Peter tried to walk on the lake but he was not successful. So this one I think is a little trickier. Peter walked the lake. Very good. If you said Peter walked along the lake, you're correct. Peter walked along the lake. We are going to learn also the days of the week. Well, here you have it. Today is excellent. Thursday. Thursday. Very good. Yesterday was Yes. Yesterday was Wednesday. Wednesday. And tomorrow will be Today's Thursday. Tomorrow will be Very good. Friday. Friday. So let us review the days of the week very quickly and their pronunciation too because sometimes you get a little bit confused with their pronunciation as well, okay? So let us try to review them. 
Listen. Sunday. Repeat. Sunday. Excellent. No, 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 no. It's not mo. No, no, no. Mo, mo, no, no. It's Monday. Monday. Monday fazer isso. Monday. Very good. True, true. No, no, no. There is no R here. Tuesday. Repeat. Tuesday. Very good. Yesterday was Wednesday. Excellent. Today is Thursday. Thursday. Don't confuse. Tuesday, two days ago. Today is Thursday. Tomorrow will be Friday. Very good. And day after tomorrow will be Saturday. Saturday. Or Saturday. You can choose a British pronunciation, an American pronunciation, an English pronunciation from Bahia and say, Osh, it's beautiful, but you have to pay attention to the intonation, to the rhythm of the sound, otherwise it becomes very difficult to understand you. So be careful with the pronunciation you use, okay? Also, for Saturday, we use the word Sabbath. Sabbath. Sabbath is originally from Hebrew and it means day of rest. Because when Jesus created the world, he created the world in six days and on the seventh day, the Sabbath, the Sabbath, he rested and he made it a special day for you and for me. So practice your English, practice the days of the week. What day is it today when you are watching us? Tell me about it. So go to our website which is www.com.believes and you can watch, contact us. Our email is believes at believes at believes.com.br Get in touch with us, give us suggestions, make requests like please teacher, can you explain this word or this verb or this tense or this construction in a sentence and we're gonna be very happy to talk to you, okay? So have a wonderful week and no matter where you go, remember Jesus loves you. Bye!